Here we go, y'all. We got to go on and talk about it. People is left homeless. People is being left homeless. And a lot of you all do not know what's going on out here in the doggone street, which is the Social Security Administration have been overpaying people, and now they want their money back. But they want their money back, and whether you're paying it back or not, they taking their money back and or cutting your next check to get their money back and is leaving people homeless. Here we go. New developments in a Channel 2 Action News investigation. We are digging into how some people say they're being made homeless by the Social Security Administration. We've reported for months now on how the federal agency is trying to claw back billions of dollars from millions of people it claims were paid too much. Mm -hmm. And now Channel 2 consumer investigator Justin Gray is here with stories of families not able to pay their monthly bills because of the repayment burden. Justin. Mm. Yeah, Linda, if you don't or can't pay back these overpayment bills, Social Security can start taking the money out of your monthly check, sometimes pausing those payments entirely and even garnishing wages. That's left some families we've talked to homeless. Oh, they finna get their paper back. Oh, don't get it twisted. This is where I sleep. Denise Woods drives to and from Georgia strip malls, truck stops, and parking lots looking for a safe place to sleep each night it's scary you just don't know what each day is going to bring everything she owns. do that baby got a fresh hairdo i just them they want asking for the people do that baby got a fresh hairdo lots looking for a safe place to sleep each night it's scary is that bit got that beautiful fresh hairdo you just don't know what each day is going to bring. Everything she owns is jammed into the back seat. All my belongings. According to this letter sent by the Social Security Administration, the agency is demanding back nearly $58,000 after determining it was overpaying her. 58000 overpaying, so she she would possibly live in good. And if they overpay her the fifty the 55000 this can also point out that she wasn't saving money. Because, like, they're paying the extra, so that's extra money that she should have. So she should have been saving some money. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm just throwing it out there. Because of her disability, lupus, and congestive heart failure, mm. she can only work part-time and makes just $14 per hour. Mm. So the agency is withholding her entire monthly check, about $2,000 per month, until February 2026. Dang. We overpaid you. We need our money back. Damn. So they're going to withhold the whole two stacks, huh? Until 2026. It's, it's going to take them until 2026 to get their money back. We met Nicole Eberhardt at an extended stay hotel recently. I have two babies I have to think about. She got two babies she has to think about. And, and damn it, I hate to just say it, but I got to. Um, The decisions of females. It's where she's living now because losing her $1,700 monthly check from the SSA after the agency sent her an overpayment notice means the legally blind mother and grandmother also lost the roof over her head. The legally blind mother and grandmother. She said that she got two babies to look after. Okay. The legally blind mother and grandmother have two babies to look after. I was using that money to actually pay for the apartment that we were living in. A Channel 2 Action News investigation in September first exposed billions of dollars in Social Security overpayments. Since then, as part of our months-long investigation in partnership with KFF Health News, we've heard from more than 400 families who've gotten demand letters from the Social Security Administration asking them to pay back thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars more than 400 families shout out to jay for the two dollar super chat you say is you say is that just pearly things say just accent oh we're gonna bag it up but i don't think that that's pearly following our reporting the head of the agency announced a full review of overpayment policies and procedures i want to get social security just to fix it senator sherrod brown blind mother can look after two kids Ha! just saying <laughs> great 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 question. Chair of the Social Security Subcommittee suggests the agency could be misinterpreting a law about recovering all mm. overpayments. Mm. Notices initially ask beneficiaries to repay the money directly, but the agency more often recoups the money 
by reducing or halting monthly benefits. It can also garnish wages and federal tax refunds. Mm. That leaves people like Denise Woods stuck with a bill they can't afford. This shouldn't be life for anybody. Shouldn't be life for anybody. Where is Miss Woods' family now? Where's everyone's family now who have become homeless due to this situation? And Channel 2 Consumer Investigator Justin Gray is back with us right So when people try to tell me that people be loving you and I, I love my people. Every this blood thickening and water and all that flash shit. How? How? <laughs> Look around. Now, Justin, the Social Security Administration has repeatedly said that they are following the law, but I'm sure people who are homeless right now don't believe that. Yeah, so you say a black, a legally blind witness sent the man to jail too. Well, in fact, then that, that's a fact right there. Social Security says their hands are tied here, that when it realizes it miscalculated someone's benefit and paid them too much, the agency says it's required by federal law to try to get that money back. But they have said since our reporting, they are now reviewing all of their policies here. They also have a new leader, a new SSA commissioner. The former governor of Maryland, Martin O'Malley, was just sworn into office before Christmas. So we will be looking to see how does he get involved in all of this. And is there more clarity and transparency about the process? Such a shock for all those families. Yeah. I know you're going to stay on it, Justin. Thank you. And Channel 2 Action News investigates leads the way in reporting on these Social Security overpayments. Channel 2 consumer investigator Justin Gray first reported three years ago about being told they owe thousands of dollars of Social Security money. Because of our reporting, a House subcommittee started looking into the problem and the agency announced a review of its policies. Justin collaborated with investigative teams from seven of our sister stations and KFF Health News to shed light on this nationwide issue. They've been speaking on this right here for three years. For three years, and I don't know too many people who know anything about this right here, about the overpayment. I think we have spoken on this probably like like twice before, like last year. Give y'all set a pat on the back, book. Y'all have made over 400. Appreciate that right there. But look here, we spoke about this thing last year. And I still don't know anybody like outside. I don't know anybody out here in these streets and or family and stuff like that who knows about the Social Security Administration overpayment things that people is becoming homeless. Because I don't be hearing people speak on it. I don't see it on Facebook that people just having discussions and stuff like that because Facebook is like for like the older people, older us and stuff, 30s and 40s, 50s and 60s and stuff like that right now. But I don't be seeing the conversation though. Shout out to Marissa for the, for the, for the $5 cash out. You say SSA limits the amount of savings for benefits. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, if you is saving your money, if you is getting social security and you saving your money, and if I'm not mistaken, they can pay attention to your bank accounts. If you're going to save money, take the money out the bank. If you're going to save money, take the money. If you was able to save your money, take the money out of the bank. We do not want the bank controlling all of your money. Remember, they also saying that they is able to garnish wages. You say, well, it got YouTube popping on this Thursday. I'm trying to do the best that I can out here in these streets. Show sure enough, I need y'all support the way that y'all giving it. Y'all over 400. I appreciate that right there. But look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you was being overpaid, I know, I know, but Willie, how would they know that they being overpaid when, when they just getting Social Security? Hell, maybe they started off getting overpaid, and you may have a point. But then it also goes back to this right here. It also goes back to this right here. We have a problem with, um, we don't know how to work our finances. We do not know how to work our money. And when we get up older in age, if we had a problem in our young age and we have not grown and got wisdom and shit, when we get older, we will continue to have the same problem. I could be trying to tell people now, you think shit's sweet now, but you is not putting anything in place in case stuff start to be spoiled or sour, 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 because you think it's sweet. The opposite of sweet is sour. 
It's sweet now, but you're not setting yourself up for when things is is sour. I say sweet. See, yeah, 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 yeah. We're not setting ourselves up. And then you get older and and even or disabled, and now you dependent on Social Security. What happens if they just stop Social Security? Hell, the same thing. What happens if they just stop your Section 8s? What if they just stop food, food stamps? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? But shit's sweet now because the check been in the mail every month. Every month it's been on time. Now, a lot of y'all who started off with less in your Social Security and then your Social Security was bumped up significantly. One thing that we're not going to do is call Social Security and say, hey, I think that y'all made a mistake. Oh, we're not going to do that right there. Oh, hell no. Nah. That, that, that ain't our problem. But one thing about it, if you all, if any of you all is on Social Security and you know that you was getting paid more, like you got like a, like an increase or something like that right there. Y'all better start putting that money aside. Hell, you should already be trying to save from your Social Security if you can. But after a certain age, we should not be paying these high-ass bills anyway. Your bills every month need to be really, really low. At least it should be really, really low. But then again, because we done messed up in our 20s, 30s, and 40s, and now we're in our damn 60s, we is paying prices that we was paying like in our 30s and 40s in our 60s and 70s and shit. Because we did not make a plan. Planning is key. And we refuse to turn our children into assets by having life insurance. I'm pretty sure by the time you hit 60, the time you done hit 60, 65, 70, there's a high percentage you would have at least lost one child. At least lost one child. At least. The percentage is really, really high especially in the doggy communities. You got all these damn children and have not turned one of them into an asset. All these children and the lost children and need not name one of them, you turned into an asset. We failing out here in these doggone trees. 2024, bitch is still failing. Moving right along, ain't gonna eat much on you.